for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spider by NextGenTactics.com. This is God of War 3 Trophy Guide Feather Plucker. Collect all of the Phoenix feathers. Okay, number one. Uh, this is after you get Apollo's bow. And uh, there's actually a little hidden, kind of not so hidden, but you know, an area up there. You gotta burn the brambles first. And we're gonna drag over this pot, which is steamy, steamy. Yes, it is. Let's call me Steamy Kratos. And uh, we're gonna jump up there and gl float up. As high as we can, and then go over to the left, and you get into this little hidden area. Hey there, hidden soul, or lost soul, hidden soul, a hidden lost soul. And uh, there's a chest with our first phoenix feather, and another red orb chest in case you're interested. All right, all right. Our number two is uh, Hades. This is after, uh, well, in the room of hands, and uh, we do have a trophy guide on how to find the room of hands. I mean, it's pretty easy to find if you ask me, but whatever. You know, we got it anyway. I mean, maybe some people, you know, they just kept going and they didn't really care to find it, so here it is. Anyways, um, in the back of the room of hands is another chest with your second phoenix feather in it. Number three. This is the Palace of Hades upper level, and uh, that's where uh, the Hades is and his dead wife is in the coffin. So along this left side, we're going to go down this, uh, pa this hallway, and there's a ladder here. So we're going to climb up, and at the top of the ladder are some hidden goodies. You've got uh, two red orb chests, some pots, but, you know, don't just collect that stuff and then jump down, because if you notice, and it's actually not that noticeable when you first get up here, and you could probably easily miss it, I would think, but there's a little hallway right here, and you go down here, and uh, there's a chest containing Phoenix Feather number three. Okay, number four. This is uh, just before the chain of balance. That's our save point, but we're gonna go backtrack a little bit here, and this is just on the other side of the bridge. So there's the bridge here, I'm just showing it to show, and there's the chain of balance, there you go. See, you can see it now, woo, there it is. And then you're gonna go to the left side, and uh, to your left, you can't even see this chest, but you can see the R1 indicator pops up. So uh, yeah, just grab, uh, open that chest and grab your Phoenix Feather. Okay, so number five. This is uh, once you're gone sort of halfway up the chain of balance, you're gonna run into this uh, red titan, this fiery titan, and you're gonna stab him in the eye. And after that, you know, you're going on these platforms and you're swinging along, and then you get to this area with the ropes, or the, um, not ropes, but uh, the mesh and the, uh, the wood structure here. So you're gonna climb along, you're gonna go left, then you're gonna go up, then you're gonna go across right. And then uh, once you drop down to the next platform, that is where you will find your next chest containing a phoenix feather. And it's actually a hidden chest, so you have to use the head of Helios to reveal it. So you drop down here, you can see the gold dust or whatever. So you use the head, and there you go. Open the chest, and away we go. Phoenix feather, uh, whatever number it was. That's it. Okay. This is, uh, you know, number six. This is near that, sir, you know, sort of Guitar Hero area, or it is in that Guitar Hero area. So you're gonna jump up to the left. On the left-hand side, there's a red orb chest, and then you're gonna come across here, and there is your chest containing your Phoenix Feather. Nice. All right. Number seven, Poseidon's Chamber. After talking with Pandora, okay, you're gonna, the left, you know, to, to get where you need to go, you're going to go left, but on the right-hand side of this room, there's another ch hidden chest that you have to use the head of Helios to reveal. And again, it's right after you talk to Pandora in uh, Poseidon's chamber, after you killed the princess. Nice. Way to go, Kratos. Okay, number eight. This is Tartarus. After, uh, after you talk to Hephaestus, you went to the left, and you open the uh, doors to Tartarus. And as soon as you go along the path, before you get to the centaur you're gonna find that chest with the phoenix feather and we actually got our upgrade here magic upgrade which is sweet because our magic was really low and it replenishes your entire supply of blue magic orbs after you get an upgrade okay 
Number nine, this is a, in the pit of Tartarus, just past the gates of Tisiphone or whatever you freaking want to call it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, just on the left side, just before your save point, or right across from it, is your next chest with your next phoenix feather. Alright, number 10. This is Daedalus Workroom, and um, so we need to release these two chests that are up here. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to hit the lever, pull the lever, and which drops the chest down. And then the ballista is already raised and pointed to that far end. We're going to fire it. It's going to go through there, up top, and boom. It's going to bust that. You're going to get the, uh, the chest dropped down. And I believe the one on the right contains the Phoenix Feather. So open her up, and away we go. Alright. Number 11. This is a caverns prior to and before the elevator. So you see there's an elevator ahead of us, and you, there's a, like a, a wheel or whatever that you activate to drop it down. Well, just before, it, just before that um, is the chest on the left-hand side with your next uh, Phoenix Feather. And we got our upgrade. Another upgrade. Woo! Didn't we just get an upgrade? I don't know. Anyways. Okay, number 12. This is Caverns. This is uh, in that water room before... Now you have to get this before you activate um, uh, the switch, the lever, that will uh, raise the water level. It basically closes the drain and raises the water level. So make sure you do do get this chest uh, before that happens, before you activate that switch. Okay, this is additional locations. This is in the labyrinth, the first mechanical trap room. Once you flip the cube and you uh, stop the uh, the traps from moving and the fire from firing, you're going to jump down. Before you go through the door, there's two chests on the right-hand side. One contains red orbs, and we're just checking. No, there's nothing there. Uh, Kratos, come on. Get with the program, buddy. Okay, red orbs and another chest with Phoenix Feather. All right. Got another additional location for you guys. This is uh, at this sort of, yeah, this is at the large battle room near the end. And uh, this is where I happen to get a Phoenix Feather in a much needed situation because I needed the magic to in order to finish uh, this room off uh, on Titan mode. So, and I'm doing the additional ones again. The trophy is not collecting them all. It's a little misleading. You only have to collect 12, enough to fully upgrade your magic. So we're providing additional ones, and there are actually even more additional ones. Okay, so this is a second pass in the three judges. And, um, yeah, right here is the hidden chest. And this will be after you've uh, killed the first judge. Okay, so uh, again, hope that helps. That has been the Feather Plucker Trophy. Collect not all of the Phoenix Feathers, 12 of them, okay? Because there are additional locations for Phoenix Feathers. And we have provided three. I believe there are even more, okay? Hey, and uh, just so you guys know, we actually have uh, full comment, uh, video comment support on our website now uh, for all of our videos. So we're actually going to be um, transitioning more to responding to comments uh, from our website on our video comments area, uh, which is at the bottom of every video. I mean, it's kind of similar to what uh, we have in our channel here on our videos for commenting and replying and this sort of thing and getting email notifications. So, um, you know, if you guys want to uh, get nearly guaranteed response to your comments, then uh, you know, comment on our website on our videos, and I'll put a direct link to the video to this video uh, once it's up on our website, which should be shortly after it's released uh, here on our channel. So uh, you know, uh, check us out, and uh, we'll try and respond to as many comments as we can because uh, we can't keep up with the ones on YouTube anyway, and uh, we're going to be supporting more on our website. So for more strategies and tactics, visit nextgentactics.com. I'm Spiderbite. I'm out.